guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this evening update today. I hope you have been enjoying your day, and we're going to be taking a look at what is happening across the Atlantic, as well as our systems in the Eastern Pacific, Tropical Storm Lydia, as well as Invest 99E. So we'll be looking at that as well, but first focus goes to the Atlantic. So we're looking at these satellite imagery here, and we can see uh, all that activity in association with what is left of the leap, which has actually dissipated. So all the remnants there are actually moving up into parts of Atlantic Canada as well as New England currently bringing maybe some periods of heavy rainfall and those gusty winds as well even those rough seas so those conditions should persist as we're going to be heading through the rest of today and into tomorrow there are other frontal systems out there across the Atlantic which have made their way from the U.S. As we look closer to the Caribbean, we can see that there is some shower and thunderstorm activity popping up across some areas this afternoon. So those white dots, they indicate lightning strikes. We'll zoom in there in a moment, but we're going to the coast of Africa where we've got a disturbance not yet designated as an invest. And if you're not aware, an invest is an area of investigation. It's been closely watched for development. So this disturbance has not yet reached that that status but it is given a high 70% chance of formation of formation over the course of the next seven days and a 20% chance of formation through the next two days so it is unlikely that it will imminently develop but as we head to the middle of next week it could manage to make it to tropical depression even tropical storm status so should it become a tropical storm attain those winds of at least 39 going to 40 miles per hour then it will acquire the next name on the list which is Sean so Sean S-E-A-N that is the next name to be used for this hurricane season fortunately not looking as though this is going to be a problem for the Caribbean as there has been some decent consistency on the system remaining out to sea. So as we go back to these satellite imagery, as I showed you guys, we've got all these fronts, these low pressure areas across the Atlantic that is disrupting the, uh, that general area of high pressure. So that high pressure is not really dominant right now. If that was the case and it is centered over the central North Atlantic, then we would see these systems making their way to the west. But as we can see, that's not happening. So this is likely to curve out to sea there has been some really great consistency on that but uh, here it is on satellite at a much closer view we can see here that it is producing some disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity now let's head into the vicinity of the Caribbean and we're kickstarting things looking at northern South America so again lots of showers and thunderstorms popping up across sections of Colombia maybe even some flooded in some areas as a result of all that heavy rain same story for some spots in Venezuela and uh, across some parts of northern Guyana there was a bit of activity activity that's kind of dissipating right now we're seeing some thunderstorms popping up across northern Suriname much not going on for French Guiana as we head to the ABC as I saw the comments from you guys about the rainfall activity there so that's some really great news I hope that you enjoyed that cool down because it has been very hot as we head over into portions of Central America going to Panama Costa Rica as well as Nicaragua there is some activity popping up as well as drift further up north and here we can see that over in eastern islands Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands through most of of the lesser Antilles including Trinidad, Tobago and Barbados much is not happening so there is some dry air moving into the area that is kind of helping to stabilize conditions maybe some passing showers here and there but nothing much is happening as we head to Hispaniola which includes Haiti the Dominican Republic we're seeing that there is some activity popping up some of which is in association with the tropical wave in the Caribbean that same wave that will bring that rainfall increase to Jamaica which I spoke about in this morning's update so as it is going to be making its way by it is likely going to be inducing a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity across parts of the island not for everywhere but some areas especially is uh, eastern parishes could experience periods of very heavy rain which can trigger flooding we have seen uh, how these thunderstorms actually affect us especially in the afternoon hours even recently in st catherine there was some flooding as a result of the heavy downpour in the afternoon so as we're going to be heading into the early part of this week going into tomorrow and monday even into tuesday there's going to be that increase in rainfall activity and a heightened chance of seeing flooding taking place but currently there is some thunder uh, there is some thunderstorm activity developing across parts of the island and uh, across cuba as well we can see some of those thunderstorms popping up much not 
what happened for the Cayman Islands, same story as we head to the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Further into Central America, there is some thunderstorm activity popping up for some areas over there as well. Now, we're going to be drifting to the eastern Pacific where we've got Tropical Storm Lydia, which is being shared right now, as well as Invest 99E. So, uh, there is Lydia, that big blob associated with it, and uh, the storm is sustaining itself with those 65 miles per hour winds. So, it has not strengthened since this morning as it continues to battle some of that wind shear. However, there is still the chance that it could manage to make it to hurricane status as we're going to be heading into the uh, new week. So as we head into Monday, potentially going into Tuesday as well, it could maintain hurricane status. But then as it is going to be making landfall, it should weaken down to a tropical storm because what happens is that it is being fueled by the very warm waters. We know how hot it has been and the surface waters have also been above average. So that is kind of helping to fuel these systems a lot more and once it is going to be moving inland it will be cut off from that fuel also the high terrain of mexico will be disrupting the circulation of the system so it is going to uh, likely rapidly deteriorate but it is going to be bringing those tropical storm conditions maybe some storm surge eventually we'll see some watches and warnings being in place uh, but there is going to be that storm surge heavy downpours uh, which can induce flooding and mudslides as well so for parts of western mexico that is going to be the case as we head into the new week and uh even for southwest mexico as well with this new uh system that is developing 99e there is some good consistency on seeing uh at least a tropical depression maybe a tropical storm become of it and the next name to be used for the eastern pacific season is max but regardless of the system actually becoming a named storm it is going to be producing those periods of heavy rains across sections of southwest mexico so states such as the far western side of Oaxaca, going to Guerrero, and even Michoacan, uh, those areas could experience those tropical storm-like conditions with those gusty winds and those periods of very heavy rainfall, which may induce flooding as we head into tomorrow and through the early part of the new week. And then what is left of Lydia and even that uh, disturbance as well could move into the Gulf and try to reform there, try to take advantage of those very warm waters and become something. Models have been showing that for some time now. However, the National Hurricane Center has not highlighted an area to be watched in the Gulf. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. More than likely, we'll eventually be seen somewhere highlighted. But even if a tropical storm or a tropical depression does not develop, if we're talking about a concentrated area of loss of showers and thunderstorms moving across the Gulf, across Florida, then there could be some periods of very heavy rainfall and that can cause its issues as well. So that's definitely something to watch out for as we're going to be heading into the new week. But uh, for now, guys, that is what is happening this evening. That's it for now. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.